Bonjour, let's start. Dog in our country is treated like a pet. Sometimes members of the family. If they're probably spoiled. I know my cat is really spoiled. Really like, like a member, like a family member. We always celebrate his birthday every year, yeah. Like make a little cake for him. So animals are treated really good in my country, in my society. An estimated 5 million dogs are trafficked and slaughtered every year in Vietnam for human consumption. A study for dog meat consumption found that 11% of people in Hanoi, the capital, and 1.5% of people in Ho Chi Minh City regularly consume dog meat. Vietnam kills more dogs for meat than any other country in Southeast Asia. The figure does not include establishment that sell dog meat and kill dog on the spot for meat consumption. Dog meat restaurants are everywhere on the street. It's easy to see dog meat traders killing and burning dogs in public. They even put grilled dog in an open area. Dog meat is a part of Vietnamese cuisine. Now we will show you some videos about dog meat trade and would like to know what did you think about it. For the record, if you find it too hard to watch, just drop it, is that okay? Whoa. It's not easy to watch, to be honest. Be I'm shocked. <laughs> like shock. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I feel a little bit emotional right now because I didn't expect to see something like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I don't have a tissue. <laughs> I think for me, I was kind of surprised that this kind of culture still exists in some of the country and it's common. That's why it's pretty surprised. Uh... I have seen a few images like this before. Uh, of course, like uh, looking at dogs being killed, I don't like it. Uh, but what I don't like the most is that they are stealing the dogs of other people. They are stealing the companions. They are uh, stealing the family member of other people. And first, I found it criminal. Like. Uh, Eating dog meat is one issue. Now, the fact that you have to act like a criminal 
and kidnap dogs of people, uh, it's even worse. Yes. So, um, I think if it's foreigner and who is not familiar with this kind of situation, they will feel really like terrifying. I totally agree. This is exactly what I, I told you before. Uh, it's a cultural difference. I may not agree because my cultural values are different, but you must respect the differences, okay? Again, we eat horses. For some people, eating horses is strange, or eating rabbits. And uh, uh, it's simply a cultural difference that must be respected. For me, I think it's like half-half. Because -half. Mm. you think about uh, the mentally way it's pretty cruel, but think about the other creatures is cruel for the other creatures too. So that maybe it's common in your culture, but it's never happened in our culture. Like it's illegal for us, but it's not illegal for you guys. We can consider as a as a cultural thing, right? Because people used to do it uh, from the past for a long time, but right now the culture is changing. So I think we should leave all the bad cultural things that was considering normal in the past and only leave the good cultural things. So obviously um, animal abuse and eating dog meat is not something good. So we should kind of leave it in the past. Uh, for me, the problem is not that it's cultural or not cultural. Uh, if these people, is their habit and they find it to be uh, morally right, I, I will not give them any lesson about it. What is shocking is, why do you, do you make them suffer? Why do you steal? This is, and if the people in Vienna, they say, we don't want this to happen anymore, if it's only a small part of the population, then things has to change. I'm not angry about the fact that people consume dog meat because I totally understand the differences and uh, um, we must respect them. I'm angry at the treatment of the dogs. Uh, it's not like chicken, you know, sometimes you have free range chicken, they are mm, bred and uh, they grow up with that specific purpose of making uh, poultry meat. These dogs, are stolen from the street. These dogs are killed in a brutal way. This is what outrages me. The treatment of the dogs, not the fact that people want to consume dog meat. Chó ở nước mình được đối xử tệ bởi vì mọi người không có cân chiều chó so với những nước bạn. So uh, my grandma house is in a countryside and you know, usually in the countryside where you live, like there's not much people who pass by your house. So usually, uh, my grandma will let all the dogs just wandering around the garden and the field, so they can just run and have fun. So I was there also in my uh, summer holiday. So I I remember I was playing in front of her house with two dogs, and uh, she she told me to like go like go inside the house to eat something so i just left these dogs because it's usually like that i just left left them and maybe they will follow me or they just continue to play at the garden at the in front of my uh, grandma house and when i just come like come in and then when i come out like going outside went out and i saw like there's two men on a motorbike as you see every time like they will on a motorbike with two men and with a net or a gun uh, that like electric gun yeah and they just pass by and one of my dogs gone it's just like really fast they just shoot shoot her or him i don't know i remember but yeah in most asian countries the majority of dog kills are either family pets stolen from homes and gardens roaming community dogs or trays snatched from the streets uh, i had no idea it was so uh, so big business uh, it's something very common from what i've seen and uh, i also was impressed by the fact that it was so easy to find dog meat 
uh, the video says that basically um, you can find a dog meat restaurant or uh, a vendor at every corner. It's very, so very common. And therefore, of course, in order to sustain this business, you have to uh, provide a lot, a lot of dogs, right? To the point that I, I don't have any emotion about that anymore because it's happened just like really regularly, really just like common sense. My aunt, we're working with her dog and some they are cut and yeah, the, the shop. The electric shop. Yeah, but I, I, I saw the. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so they, are, they are not people who do justice for themselves. They say the police is doing nothing. I'm gonna do the something. Yeah. yeah. Although there's many protection organizations in Vietnam that call for dog protection, and the government also asks laws to punish and restrict dog eating behavior, but it seems not really effective. Dog thieves continue to happen on their own and show no signs of stopping. They happen so much that Vietnamese people get used to them and the police can't handle it. Due to the lack of treatment, many people, when they see their pets being stolen, are extremely angry and have self-punishment according to their feelings. They rush into beat dog thief. There were even cases of beating thieves to death. It's just kind of like the Taiwanese gangster. It's just uh, in our own ways when the when we think that the laws cannot solve the problem, and Taiwanese gangster will just solve the problem, just like beating some people to death. They deserve to be beaten up because they steal someone pet, but in the other cans they cannot beat it until that because that's just so horrible yeah yes yeah, like you're solving a crime with another crime <laughs> yeah i know why people feel angry about the thief and why they think it's okay for them to get beaten by other people but i think um, they should deal with this problem differently because again they're promoting aggression towards the alive being like for me it's pretty much the same. Are you like beating the dog or <laughs> a person? In Vietnam, there are many organizations that try to protect and resist dog meat. They organize many campaigns to urge the community to protect dogs. They also open many rescue camps to help stolen dogs. In addition, they also collaborate with local authorities to raise awareness, educate people. Efforts to promote dog protection have been effective as some dog meat restaurant owners have gone out of business and joined these campaigns with them. Tôi Dương. Trước đây tôi đã từng kiếm sống một công việc buôn bán giết mổ cho mèo. Mình khuyên các bạn hoặc là những người đang làm về giết mổ cho mèo thì chúng ta hãy nên dừng lên tại đây để chúng ta chuyển đổi sang những công việc khác. Their campaign also received a response from the community when many people participated, signed, and shared them on social networks. These are effective ways to raise public awareness in protecting dogs and ending the problem around dog meat.